Yo guys, my name is Jerocroft and welcome to another epic transformation video. Today we're going to be transforming the Nether Fortress as requested by you guys. Now before we even start this transformation, I need to figure out how big this Nether Fortress actually is, because we are going to extract the Nether Fortress from the Nether and paste it into our epic World of Warcraft fantasy style map. Little did I know that this was going to be one of the biggest transformation videos ever. Guys, just look at the sheer size of this nether fortress. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you don't mind me, but I'm taking this nether fortress with me. Right guys, so it looks like we're ready to start today's epic transformation video. Please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, and without further ado, let's begin. Now before I transfer the nether fortress into this world, I do need to make a lot of changes to the terrain. The idea for this video was to have a huge crater and have the nether fortress smack in the middle. It was a crazy idea but it worked out just great. I will be adding a bunch of custom trees, custom mountains. I swear to you guys, the longer you watch this video for, the more epic it gets. Now don't you guys worry too much about the terrain just yet because later on in this video I will be transforming the landscape once again into a fiery wonderland. It did take me several hours to get to this stage in the game but the important thing right now is to find out if the nether fortress actually fits into this crater. Surprisingly the fortress actually fits in perfectly so I don't have to make too many changes to the terrain. Right guys, so it looks like we can get down to building. Now I'm not going to be making any sort of major changes right now or adding any sort of detail. What's important is making sure that the nether fortress actually fits and joins up correctly with the surrounding terrain. I will be making some slight changes to the initial shape though because right now the nether fortress looks absolutely horrendous. So while we're at it, I'm going to swap the nether rack over to some stone slab don't worry, I won't be using this block later on, I just want you guys to be able to see better and apart from that, to be honest, I've never really been a fan of using netherrack. Right guys, so the theme colour for this build is definitely going to be red, which by the way, was also suggested by you guys. Either way, we are transforming a nether fortress, so I guess red is definitely a suitable colour. We're going to be using a bunch of different blocks, from red clay to red wool, and even adding those custom fire pots that we used in previous videos using a different combination of glass pane. Now guys, I'm really, really gonna try my best to keep to the original shape of the nether fortress, but I can't guarantee that that's gonna happen, because you know me, I tend to get incredibly, incredibly carried away. I've even already increased the size of this build by an extra two floors, and it doesn't stop there. I get even more carried away when it comes to the roof design, but remember, we are sticking to a World of Warcraft fantasy kind of theme, so I guess it's okay. Believe me guys, I went through hundreds of different roof designs trying to figure out what works best for this temple and eventually I decided to build this dome which I think works really well especially right at the top where I got slightly carried away and added in an extra fire pot which just sits on the top of the roof. It's unique and it actually looks quite interesting. I'm also going to be making some slight variations to these buildings so they don't all look entirely the same. Well guys, I think we've made a pretty good amount of progress so far, but I know what some of you guys may be thinking. Jerocroft, you're building a, a nether fortress in the middle of grasslands. Not to worry, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we were going to make some further changes to the terrain, starting with some red sand. I'm also going to be adding in some huge custom trees, definitely dead trees, because, well, what's going to survive in a fiery landscape? Oh, uh, <laughs> I look like a giant in the middle of my fortress. Now if that's not enough for some custom landscape, I'm also going to be adding in these massive spikes. I went through a couple of different designs and found that orange wool and some red glass pane worked best for the kind of landscape that I was creating. 
I also made some variation to the terrain using dirt and various different blocks. All that was left to do now was add in those giant spikes we just made. I thought it was a great idea until one of my best friends walked in and told me they looked like giant carrots. Ay madre, I told him, I told him they were giant fire crystals. He just wouldn't listen the chupacabra. Anyway guys, let's continue with the transformation of this nether fortress before I turn this place into an inside out pumpkin. At least according to my best friend. Don't worry, he was only joking. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna continue with the same style, adding in these massive archways. We've still got a lot of work to do guys. Believe me, I spent several hours getting this build together. Guys, I also definitely have to take this moment to thank every single one of you for all the recent support. It's been absolutely incredible. It feels like yesterday we hit those 100,000 subscribers and already two or three weeks later we are on 120,000. 20,000 new guys in here with us. This is crazy. So thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. Now guys, just take a look at this. Doesn't that look insane? We still have a lot of work to do, believe it or not. And I know some of you guys always tend to ask me for a slower time-lapse version so you guys can get a more in-depth, closer view. But trust me, it took me five days to set up this video. It would be almost impossible to have a slowed down version of this time-lapse. Now for those of you who did watch my last epic transformation video, you guys were amazed by the glass fog we created using layers of glass. We're going to do the exact same thing for this build, this time using orange and red, but we're going to take it a step further and even add some lava right at the bottom. See what kind of effect we get from this. Right, 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 guys, thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you next time. This is Jerocraft, over and out.